at the confluence of the Varana and the Asya rivulets, as they meet the Ganga, lies the holy city of Varanasi. The derivation of the name is found in the Kurma Purana. Varanasi is older than history, older than tradition, older than even the legends and looks twice as old as all of them put together. The holy city of Varanasi, which lies on the trident of Lord Shiva, is considered to be older than time itself. Varanasi is considered to be the holiest among the seven cities of deliverance. Legends have it that once Nirvikara Chaitanya and Sanatan Brahma have assumed the form of Saguna Vishwaru from the initial Nirgun Roop. The Shiva Shakti Roop became the Purush and Stri again. Prakriti and Purush were once ordained by Shiva to do taps in the universe in order to create the best being. He specified the best place for this purpose. When a prayer was held, Nirgun Shiva with his own powers and aura created a wonderful city called Panchakrosh. Vishnu who resided there spent a lot of time praying to Shiva, after which several water springs originated there. Lord Vishnu was amazed at this wondrous event, and as he tilted his head, a gemstone from his ear fell down. Because of this, the place was also called Manikarnika. The entire Panchakrosh area of Manikarnika waters were then gathered into the trident by Shiva. Then from the navel of Vishnu was born a lotus flower with Brahma in it. Brahma was ordained by Shiva to create a world at which Brahma created this wonderful world. It had 50 crore yojans of area and 14 lokes. Shiva kept Panchakrosh city away from the entire universe. In the city, Shiva himself established the savior Muktidayak Jyotirling, which he never leaves. Shiva removed the very Kashi from his trident and set it in the mortal world. It was not to be destroyed when Brahma's day ends. Shiva saves it by keeping it safe in his trident. So the Kashi is called Avimukta Shetra. In Kashi, the Avimukteshwar Ling is there forever. Those who can never hope for salvation attain moksha here. Five Aartis are performed at the Kashi Vishwanatha temple at different times of the day demarcating the hours of the day and the duties of the Lord. Baba Vishwanath's Mangal Aarti begins at the auspicious time of Brahma Muhut followed by the Bhoga Arti in the noon, then Lord Vishwanath's Saptarishi Arti in the evening, followed by Shringar Arti at night. After Shringar Arti follows the Shayanar. Kalabhairav is revered as the Kotwal that is the defender of Varanasi city. For the story of the Kalabhairav temple and how Kalabhairav became the Kotwal of Varanasi, do click on the card above or the link in the description box. Encircled by a ring of pillars is the Gyanavapi well which scripture says is the font of wisdom and spiritual enlightenment. The flames of the funeral pyre at the Manikarnika Ghat never die out. There is no better place for dying than Kashi, as dying in Kashi is said, liberates the soul. Hindus believe that cremation along the sacred Ganges river brings moksha, that is liberation from the cycle of reincarnation. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, do hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.